Okay, so I just have a few minutes just to wrap up today. So, um, yeah, I had some thoughts on kind of what we've learned throughout today. Um, so I appreciate there's a lot of people in the room who are really new to R and are just literally picking up R for the first time, um, which is fantastic. Um, a more experienced seasoner. So if we think all the way back to is it 10 a.m., I learned today that a lot of people have tinnitus and actually thought that fire alarm was tinnitus, <laughs> which was actually shocking. Um, everyone was like, I thought that was, anyway, very... <laughs> interesting um but actually talking more about you so those those who are kind of beginner r users it's really good to have you here and to try and encourage you to use r hopefully we've not put you off um if you've learned today earlier on i think in the talks we were talking, talking about different packages um and uh i think those of you who aren't aware bash and linux code and c and all of that isn't being bashed but there's actually a whole um, area of kind of extra types of, of softwares and codes for kind of the more experienced end. So also really appreciate your contributions. Um, it feels like this was starting to happen, but that's okay. From <laughs> the, the extreme end of like, I don't know what this is. To are you talking about C? So I just think it's really great to see so many different people in the room today who are obviously advocating for using R. Um, we also then moved on to learning that we can script data. Um, I think Victoria talked about scraping data in R, which is really great because I've only ever seen that done in Python, but that was really good to see as well. So we moved on then uh, this afternoon then to talk about a few shiny apps as well. Um, and I think it was Paul that was talking about this, this horse. I was trying to find a picture of a horse. Um, but actually, when we're talking about shiny, do we put the cart before the horse, actually? Or you know, are we building these models, whether we're doing the really complicated models or we're just starting off? but actually thinking about Shiny and that, that interface. So it was really interesting to reflect on that as well um, for all the different users, whether that is sort of the, the decision-making bodies or sort of other consulting or other ways. So it was really great to see kind of the real mix of, of talks today. Um, and then kind of looked at some packages this afternoon. Um, and sometimes these packages don't look like lovely little neat packages. There are issues and bugs and things, but it's really exciting to kind of learn about packages um, and I think in some of the talks as well throughout the day, we've seen packages that are kind of really commonly used. Again, maybe if you're starting off, you're wanting to use some of these packages with survival analysis, MSM was talked about, all the way to actually creating your own package, which is quite exciting. So again, it was, it was really nice to see all of that. Um, we don't want to put people off. If you're starting off with R, this isn't some sort of poisoned apple. Like We want to try and tempt you to use R if you're not already. We have talked a lot uh, today about some of the issues or exciting things or maybe some things have gone over your head, but actually it is really wonderful to try and use R. It does a lot of things. Um, so hopefully you're encouraged to use it more if, if you're not already and you can spread the, the good news of R. Um, and I think the, one of the last few talks we were talking a little bit about Excel and um, thinking about all the wonderful things that R actually does. Well, if you're already using Excel, I mean, if you're using VBA code, then I was trying to like, is it, what is it, what is it they say, brother, uh, or something, I don't know. I was trying to find a, a gift for that in the last like three minutes. Um, but you know, so if you're trying to think of transitioning to R, if you're already looking at VBA code, you're kind of along the right lines anyway. So anyway, there were just some of my, my thoughts um, in, in a few pictures. Um, but yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to all of our speakers today who've come. Um, uh, all the way from India, I think, was the furthest, perhaps. Um, so yeah, all of our speakers today, also all of you guys in the room and everyone online, um, it wouldn't be what it is without you guys. Um, also thanks to Rob, this is Rob running around doing everything. Um, so thank you Rob. Rob is a runner, but you know, um, running around a different way. Um, and I'm that person that's been hounding, hounding everyone to get your slides on GitHub, so hopefully the speakers can put them, or send them to us and we can get them on GitHub so you can see them. And the same for Monday and Tuesday. And then hopefully if you want to um, look back through slides and things, um, then you can look at them there on our, on our GitHub. Um, doesn't end here. It does continue on Monday um, after the weekend. And just to point out, that is remote. So we will not be here. We will be online. Um, we'll start at 9 a.m. on Monday. I think Tuesday starts at 1. Um, so that is remote. And you should all have had an email with the Zoom links. If not, email myself or Rob or someone, and we'll get those to you. Um, next year, maybe maybe come to Queens. We'll see the <laughs> hop across to Belfast. Um, we'll see. We actually was talking a little bit was it last night at the pub about how there's conferences in Bali, so we might actually have to do an R for each day in Bali. Because <laughs> I mean, like Queens looks sunny, but it doesn't look like that. Um, but this looks like more realistic Bali. I don't know. Maybe up for for debate. 
Um, that looks incredible. Uh, so yeah, if you're really excited though to come to Belfast, um, myself and Nathan are running a hackathon on the 5th and 6th of August. Um, we had closed the deadline for this, but we do have some spaces um, because we do need people to work in groups for the full two days. So that's the 5th and 6th of August. Um, so people like yourselves. Um, so we might have some people who are a bit more um, kind of new to R, but want to work on kind of uh, groups and kind of hacking out some, some really fun things to, again, more, more expert level. So we'll try to have um, a mix of packages and um, I put the website there. Um, so there's some details, um, but you can email myself or Nathan or chat to us again at the pub um, about that. Um, we do have some funding from ICMS, which can pay for your accommodation and travel. So let us know probably ASAP if you'd like to go to that, because we are organising the groups now. But we thought we would let you guys um, know about that if you're interested. Um, what else did I write? Sorry, this is a... Oh, yeah, I just wrote some code quickly to uh, see how quickly I could write code to talk um, about how R can do these wonderful things and create pictures. Um, turns out you can't do a lot in about 90 seconds, but because uh, we're talking about large language models, all these exciting things that R can do, that's as far as I got as drawing a picture of people at the pub. Um, <laughs> so I had, because there's all these animations and things that R can do, but actually this is how far I got for five people sitting around the pub, and then we have two people um, wearing R for HDA t-shirts, but I actually just, just threw this in and that was what came out. So R's not quite there for me in terms of the speed of creating a, um, <laughs> uh, something like that. So, you know, we're working on it. But anyway, the final slide is just that um, anyone who's online will see on Monday. Otherwise, um, I guess we'll be going to the pub and probably packs of us, <laughs> say packs, will be leaving. Um, <laughs> I don't know which route. It says the one route's um, the same distance, but one minute. Uh, slower so we can race. So we'll probably leaving in about five or about five minutes or so. So yeah. Um see you all there and thank you so much. See you on Monday. Woo.